Hey everybody, welcome back to Lyle's Friday podcast. Uh, a little chilly here in Florida today, getting to wear uh, sweatshirts and jeans, which is a nice change of pace. Uh, it's always our nicer clothes because we only get to wear them about 10 times a year, but we're happy. Uh, gave some thought to what I wanted to talk to you about this week. And what I came up with was from the service aspect of what we do here at CNS Corvettes. One of the things that we are constantly having to deal with that a lot of customers don't necessarily understand is what I call sins of the past. Now, that doesn't mean the things that you did before the Internet was invented, that you're so thankful that the Internet wasn't invented at that time. What I'm talking about is people have had their hands in old Corvettes, you know, the cars that are 40 years old, 35 years old, so many people with so many different skill levels have had their hands in that car. And when I go in to fix a problem, not only do I have to fix the existing problem, but as I get into and disassemble things and I find that, oh, somebody used a drywall screw to hold this door panel on, or, hey, this clip is missing and I have to go find this special clip so that the screw will actually stay in place. Those are things I have to go through and fix as I go because I don't ever want to give you your car back in anything other than the correct, best possible condition. That being said, that usually takes a lot of time that customers don't equate into money. But time is money, as we all know. Some of the things that you will see uh, in a car that has had hands in it, uh, you're going to see screws and clips are always going to be wrong. Uh, as I said, drywall screws, I've seen concrete tap cons, I've seen, you name it, they've used it to attach something to the car. And uh, a related problem is oftentimes the hole that started out the size of the tip of a pencil is now this big. So you either have to fill that hole, weld that hole, or do whatever you need to do to get the hole back to the size it needs to be to accept the right fastener. Um, another one that we have constant problems with is uh, people go in and <clears throat> make the wiring bad. And what I mean by that is they will install a stereo. They will install alarms. They will hook a Bluetooth adapter for their stereo into the power wire for their airbag. None of these are good things. Uh, one of my favorites is they'll have an electrical problem in the car. <clears throat> and instead of actually sorting out the problem and finding it and fixing it, they'll just run a jumper wire from point A to point B and bypass the problem. But that means the problem still exists. And when I go in there, I can't leave it that way because it's incorrect, it's unprofessional, and in office, especially when it comes to wiring, can be damn dangerous. You will burn a car down. And if that car is sitting in your garage when it burns down, guess what else is going to burn down? Uh, <clears throat> rust issues. People think Corvettes don't rust because they have fiberglass bodies. The bodies don't rust. You're right. The problem is the undercarriage, the windshield frame, the cowl, the, the suspension, all of that is metal. And all of that does rust if it isn't maintained. So when I go in and I'm doing suspension work or I'm having to replace a brake line or I'm having to do whatever, and bolts are so rusted that you can't even see that the nut holding that bolt was a nut. It's just a lump of rust on the end. That means now I have to go get a torch or a sawzall or whatever. And I have to cut that out, clean the entire area, put paint on it so it doesn't re-rust and then install new hardware. That means if the book time for that job was three hours, well, it may be four hours now. It may be five hours because that's how long it took me to get it back to standard. Um, oh, another one of my favorites, especially on C4s and now C5s and C6s beginning, all the plastic bits in your car, especially in the interior. With age, ABS plastic gets brittle to the point where you simply lift it out of place and all of a sudden you have two pieces in your hands because it just falls apart. The car owner says, well, it was just fine when I brought it in. I think, well, that's because no one's ever tried to actually manipulate it or remove it, which was necessary for this job. And as I pulled it out with two fingers on each hand, it broke in half. So we need to replace it. Um, but one of my favorites is rodent damage. Yes, rodent damage. Not only do they eat wiring, so they love the coating of wiring because a lot of it is soy based, especially in the newer cars. So if your car is being stored in a barn, your car is being stored in a rural area, or it's just in one place, even in your garage here in Florida for six months and doesn't move, rodents will find a way to eat your wiring. I've seen them make nests of all the stuff they had out of your car 
in your AC blower box. So you, you're like, huh, I don't have any air volume and it stinks. That's because you are now venting a rat's house into your face when you're driving. And that is something else that we have to uh, deal with, clean, sanitize, and, and get it to where it is back to standard. But again, that takes time. Uh, even something as simple as tires. Uh, tires can look great. They can still have all the little nubs on the outside and the tread's beautiful and bright white letters. But if those tires are 15 years old and your car gets driven twice a year in 15 years, not only are those tires starting to dry rot, whether you can see it or not, uh, you're also getting flat spots from where the car is constantly sitting on that one piece of that tire and you go down the road and it's go, 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 go. Tires can look fine, but like, for example, in the state of Florida, you are not legally allowed to sell a tire that is more than six years old, period. I don't care how good it looks. So if your tires are more than six years old on your car, eh, you need to take a real good look at those, as do I when it comes in here. And if I see something that's more than 10 years old, you need tires, even if they look great. So just a few thoughts I wanted to share with you on the things that we look at and the things we see that may not be, you know, completely obvious to the car owner. Um, any questions on this? Any other things you think of that you want to add to this? By all means, put it in the comments below down here. Uh, and you can always reach me at 800-886-5064 or at CorvetteParsCenter.com. See you next week.